Welcome over to Automotive World, everyone. I'm your host, Sonny Mystery, and tonight we have some news out of Motor One from an article from Jeff Perez here. And the Volvo S60 is unfortunately kicking the bucket. It is gone. Uh, we're going to get right into this article here and we're going to go over my thoughts on this. Um, the Volvo S60 has always been kind of a really cool model. You know, it's always had, you know, the typical Volvo uh, just kind of quirks to it. Um, it's always been a really just interesting model that Volvo sold here. It never really was a necessarily big seller, but it was just a really kind of quirky model that they still kind of kept around with the wagons and it just kind of kept the range. It, it just kind of helped the range in the portfolio, um, especially in a market where sedans just really, really aren't selling. But unfortunately, the S60 is gone. Um, and like I said, really, I mean, this was a... You know, this was a vehicle, this wasn't super high-end, you know, this was equivalent to, as we see, a, B, a BMW 3 Series, a Mercedes-Benz C-Class. Um, you could also say this was very equivalent to um, the Audi A-Series being A3 and A4, uh, more so A3, especially price-wise, but in that A-Series there. Um, this, unfortunately, though, you know, after the five years of production, it is ending the S60 sedan in Ridgeville, South Carolina, so... This, you know, even though this was a Volvo, um, this was built here in America, so there wasn't a lot of Swedish accent to this, you know, there wasn't a lot of that kind of quirkiness there. Um, however, it is another model that is leaving us, and it's actually quite big for the American market, as it was built in South Carolina. Even though the volume of that car was never really too big, uh, it is still a considerable market to the U.S., and I mean, that was here after, you know, 24 years in the United States. So essentially this car was around for three generations. This car was around for almost three decades, you know, very close to 30 years. Um, so, you know, this, even though this car was never necessarily the top selling car in the class here in America, uh, it was around for a long time and it did have an impact. And so unfortunately it is, you know, it is sad to see this model go, and obviously just because it is a sedan as well, um, and there's not really a lot of people doing sedans anymore, it is just really sad to see another one go. And when we look at the pictures, I mean, like I said, like, it wasn't an unattractive looking car, it's it's quite a, you know, a decent looking car. It's actually, you could actually say even for a Volvo, it's a little bit conservative, but I, it's a really, really nice looking car. Um, and the third generation that we had for the S60 actually debuted in 2019. So this third generation, I mean, you know, going into, you know, about halfway through the year in 2024, um, the third generation was a little bit old. Uh, you know, by modern car standards, I mean, we could definitely say it was old. I mean, overall in generations, I mean, we've seen cars last 10, 15 years. So, I mean, it wasn't like... You know, it was from like back in the 2000s and the 90s, but it was definitely an aging generation. Um, and unfortunately, you know, it's just, it's sad to see that, you know, on the five year production of that third generation that it is going. And, you know, it's just, it was a really, really cool vehicle. I mean, as we see down here, you know, they had the performance oriented Polestar engineered model that had 252 horsepower. But unfortunately, though, the S60 was a slow seller. Um, and, Volvo, unfortunately, never even sold more than 20,000 units in the car's most successful year. So even in, even in this prime, you know, this car wasn't even selling 10,000 units. And to also say, to remember, this would have been with an internal combustion engine. That is just really a lot. It's just not a lot of numbers. And, you know, just seeing around here, the car hovering around 10 to 12,000 units annually for the past three years, while the BMW and the you know, Mercedes-Benz equivalents have been selling around 33,000 examples. Uh, you know, obviously, price-wise, what this is in, this wouldn't be equivalent to, like, you know, you could even argue an A-Series, but it wouldn't be equivalent to, like, a Jetta or something like that. But if you looked at, like, you know, the most, essentially the, you know, the entry-level car for each brand, I mean, you're just not going to get away with selling, you know, ten to 12,000 units a year, especially being an internal combustion engine in this market. Uh, if you're selling ten to 12,000 units a year on an EV, that's really good, but you're just not going to get away with those numbers. And, you know, throughout its 24-year history, the most that it, like I said, it was able to sell is 20,000 units. That is just not enough because even in our last sales video we did with VW, um, Jetta sales have been higher in many many years but Jetta sales did go up this year and they did sell about 19,000 units and that's you know with the Jetta sales have overall been coming down um, and especially in this market where you know sedans just don't generally do as great so you know for Volvo to have those numbers 
it's just not good enough. And like I said, with the price range that they're competing in, um, especially when you look at the class they're competing in, when BMW and Mercedes are, you know, they're selling two, three times that amount, it's just not good enough. And so unfortunately, the S60's death is kind of a little bit painful just because it's like I said, it was a quirky model. Um, this isn't, you know, to not be expected though. Obviously, Volvo has always, in my opinion, focused more on the wagons and their SUVs. Um, and obviously we've seen that, you know, with the EX90, that's gonna be their first all electric uh, three row SUV. Um, it has a huge 111 kilowatt hour battery pack. It's gonna give us up to 496 horsepower, 300 miles of range in the United States. Um, and also too, we've seen a lot of just kind of restructuring and things with, Volks, um, with Volvo. Um, you know, obviously the parent company that owns Volvo still also owns Polestar, but Polestar has um, split up from Volvo. So while it is owned by, you know, the parent company that also owns Volvo, Polestar is its own brand. So, you know, that kind of also has to come into play here as just we have seen with Volvo, um, the brand, including their Polestar brand, which was the essentially like the M, you know, the M division for Volvo. Um, we have seen a little bit of restructuring and things. So this wasn't necessarily to be unexpected, um, but this does suck. Obviously, like I said, Volvo is going to make more space for the EX90. That is a very expensive SUV. As we can see there, it's $77,990. It's going to start at it's not meant to be a cheap SUV. It's a really nice looking SUV. It's nice build quality inside, but you know, this really, really sucks. Um, especially because, you know, like I said, we knew that they were going to make room for this model. But when you look at this model, this being one of the more entry level models, um, to see something like this, and then on top of it, it's a sedan go away. And then to see essentially what's going to replace that space in the factory for not only an EV and an SUV, which, you know, there's probably tons of people out there dreading but just to see what the price of that vehicle is going to start at um it just shows some shifts that you know where volvo is and even though they don't sell as many cars as other people it just shows that you know what volvo customers are actually buying and it's been like that for a while volvo has always made you know some relatively affordable vehicles in the united states but really people have always bought premium vehicles from volvo and i think this is just you know it sucks to not have another model that's more affordable, but at the same time, if nobody's buying the more affordable model, the model, what's the point of making it? So this just kind of sucks to see that, unfortunately. But we do have promising news with Volvo and obviously the parent company that owns Volvo and Polestar, as we've seen a bunch of the new EVs come into play. Um, you know, obviously, like I said, it has been a struggle for Volvo just because of the size of the company, um, you know, and even just their EV is just not doing very well, especially in this market with a lot of people's EVs just relatively not doing very well. But it just sucks to see another internal combustion engine car go away, especially on a sedan like this. And like I said, it's not bad looking. It's a pretty good looking car. I've always thought it was a cool car. Um, that's going to do it for now, though. Anybody who did, who did own the S60, you know, as Volvo makes this shift, uh, please let me know what you guys and girls think down below of this car. If you ever did own one, if you ever, you know, drove in, if you were thinking about buying one, please let me know what you think down below of this. That is going to do it for now, though. And uh, like always, everyone, thanks for watching.